Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Kristen, aka Bev, your favorite nurse bae. On my channel, we talk about all things nursing, lifestyle, being a wife, and a mom, also being an entrepreneur. So that's all our topics. But anyways, this video is another subscriber requested video. They told me that they're LPN and they're thinking about going to Galen and they wanted me to give them an admissions process. So I figured I would just go ahead and do a whole video because I'm sure that Galen's admission process is similar to most schools admissions process. video if you're new here don't be a stranger go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're oldie but goodie welcome back thanks for always supporting make sure y'all like this um video comment down below and continue to drop questions or different ideas for videos in the comment section because i'll be in there so anyways let's go ahead and jump right into this video so i just want to go ahead and start off by saying the number one reason why people don't make it into nursing school is because they simply don't apply to the program or they don't fully fill out the application the correct way. So please get you a checklist, research the school that you want to attend, get the application and do the checklist. Make sure you got all the documents that you need for your application. And the main thing that holds people up with the application process is the entrance exam. Now, I had to take the entrance exam for Galen three times. Um, and I finally got to the level where I could be accepted into the RN program. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to jump on here and do a quick giveaway in this video. I have been on YouTube since 2017 and I have never done a giveaway. So I had to get on here and show my appreciation to y'all. But I just gotta go ahead and get this disclaimer out. This video is going live Friday, September 9th. And this is only gonna be a 48 hour giveaway. So it will be closing Sunday, September 11th. So if you're watching this after September 11th, unfortunately, the challenge, I mean, the giveaway is over. Because my channel have a mixture of subscribers, I'm gonna have three different categories in the giveaway. The first category is gonna be pre-nursing. For my pre-nursing students, I'm gonna give away um, the ATIT's online practice exam prep. It's gonna come with two practice tests and an a and online practice test. For my nursing students, I'm going to give away Saunders NCLEX Prep book and the online package for you to do practice questions. It's a total test bank. I use the Saunders for my LPM and for my RN NCLEX and I passed both on the first time. So it's the holy grail. And for my nurse base that's already done with school but still want to participate in this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away um, a nursing bag. It says little nurse bag i'm gonna put a picture up it's owned by a nurse so we're gonna support her business and do a giveaway it's really cute you get to pick whatever color you want you only have to do two things to enter this giveaway follow me on instagram one and two upload a video from my youtube channel it does not have to be this video it can be any video you want from my channel but just make sure you tag me in it just upload it to your instagram stories not your instagram feed because i know how people feel about that but the stories are only for 24 hours and then i will reach out to you you don't have to do anything else you don't have to say you entered you don't have to mention anything just post the video tag me shout out my youtube channel and boom that's it two things follow me on instagram upload a clip to your instagram stories i love y'all Good luck. I had to do the LPN to RN program at Galen, which was 18 months, but I ended up completing it in 24 months because I failed a couple classes and had to retake them. So um, after passing the entrance exam, I did the online application and some things that I feel like you need to have handy for the online application or for the application to nursing school is your high school transcripts, 
Um, any college courses, if you've been to college, make sure you have those official transcripts as well. And at the bare minimum, have unofficial transcripts so that they can do a transcript review. I'm going to put my transcript review up here on the TV, I mean up here on the video so that y'all can see the credits that they did accept from FAMU. You'll see on there that they accepted my LPN to RM program. I mean, they accepted my LPN program and that's how I got into the LPN to RM program, which was a little bit more accelerated because I had some courses already approved and accepted. So you also need a copy of your LPN license if you plan to take that route because they want to make sure that you are an, a nurse and that you have an active license. And another thing that Galen requested from me was my LPN program curriculum. So um, some places they have like the LPN program as an associate's degree at some colleges. Me personally, this is a side note. Me personally, I don't suggest anyone go to a college like Rasmussen or these private schools that's offering LPN as a degree. LPN is a certificate. Please just go to a technical college, a public school. It is very affordable. Don't go into debt for an LPN license certificate. Yes, to get an RN, you have to have a degree. An associate's degree is the bare minimum you can have to be considered an RN. If you are an RN without an associate's degree, you ain't an RN. Sidebar done. After completing my online application and passing my entrance exam, I got an email saying, congratulations, you've been accepted into Galen. And I also got a hard copy letter. I'm going to see if I can find that letter. Um, but then I had an enrollment appointment. And basically that was cough up the motherfucking coins appointment. Um, I had to apply for financial aid. They pulled up my life um, because you have a financial aid like report and they showed me how much money I had left in my financial aid. If y'all don't know my history, I did a little bit of university hop. I went to a hundred different schools and I used financial aid for all of them. Racked up a lot of debt going to school. I found this on the web. Girl, hush. Wrapped up a lot of debt going to a lot of schools for a lot of nonsense but that's another day and another dollar so they pulled me up and they showed how much financial aid i had left and it was like girl apply for these scholarships because you are a single mom apply for these grants because you are a single mom bring back the applications or let us know what they say once you submit them but this is how much you gotta pay out of pocket we want 250 dollars right now and um that's kind of how that appointment went so they basically told me that with the accepted credits those classes i don't have to worry about these are the classes that i will have to take and i had an estimate of like eighteen thousand dollars that i was gonna have to pay and then i had like five hundred dollars in the pell grant and then i had a scholarship so it bumped me down to like 16000 but all in all, I ended up spending $13,000 in cash, but I was an LPN, so I worked and I made payments. We set up a payment arrangement, and thankfully, Galen didn't stop me because, of course, over the course, my working went up and down because school was my main priority. Um, if I didn't make a payment or I missed the payment, they did not stop me from going to school. So as long as I was passing my classes and going and doing my part, Galen had no issues. All I had to do was at the end, they would not send me to the board of nursing to be eligible to sit for my NCLEX until I paid them in full. So by the end of the year, like this is another sidebar but by the end of the program I had still like $1,300 I had to pay them and soon as I finished 
I picked up every shift I could at that nursing home and paid that $1,300 off so that I could get my sit into the board. But anyways, that was really cool about Galen. That's the plus that I would give to them is that they didn't stop me from getting to class just because I owed them because they already knew since you want this degree, you want to go get these licenses, you're going to pay us. So they already knew. So that kind of was like guaranteed money for them. That was genius. But anyways, so I paid my $250, I set up my appointment, and then I, um, and while I was there, they had me watch like this video, and in the video, it talked about the history and how Galen started out in Louisville, Kentucky, and how they just grew. I think they have schools in San Antonio. They have multiple schools. And here in Florida, how they got here, and how they partnered with HCA and they're building a brand new campus. And then they went on to say the expectations that they have for their students because this is the, this is an accelerated program and that it's going to be a lot of information thrown at you really fast and they are there to support. Basically, is what the video said. So after watching the video and paying my $250, I keep on saying that because I wasn't expecting to pay $250. But anyways, I took my badge picture. I got my school badge. And then they registered me for um, my new student orientation. Once you do the new student orientation, here's some things that you need to have ready. Because most of the time, you probably will have a clinical within your first year or first two quarters of attending school you hit the ground running you need to have a physical ready have your immunization records ready um also have your cpr card bls if you're local please um register for bls class with me because i'm your favorite cpr instructor <laughs> shameless plug and um that was about it my new student orientation they basically had us show up to the school we did a tour of the school in the lab um they showed us they talked to us about student government we got a lot of freebie get um bags but all in all the process to getting into galen was fairly smooth but I think it was smooth for me because I actually read the application and I made sure that I did my part when they sent me emails stating that they needed additional documents from me I made sure I got them back promptly and I responded to all the correspondence that I received um a lot of people um I feel like don't succeed when they don't do what they need to do. So as long as you do everything that is on the application for you to do and you follow up and you follow through on your end, Galen is very excellent about doing their end and making the transition smooth for you. If y'all have any more questions, any other suggestions, drop them down. And remember, if this is your video, Make sure you comment, share this video, and like it because we try to grow over here. I really need y'all help to grow. So, you know, thanks for watching my channel. I'll see y'all in the next video. Ciao.